go to school, get a job, get a degree, pay for the degree, pay for school, pay for your bills, get married, have kids, get forced for overtime. If you don't go in for overtime, guess what happens? They let you go. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Well, that's what people dream of every day. People don't understand how this world works. People don't understand that majority of the people are a paycheck away from being homeless. People don't understand that college is a scam. Your mom ever told her she can't wait for you to graduate high school so you can go to college? Or your friends ever shamed you because you didn't want to go to college, you wanted to be your own boss? Has that ever happened to you? You know why you should keep your job? You should keep your job because you have bills to pay. You should keep your job because you like getting told what to do. You should keep your job because you only have a 30 minute lunch break. You should keep your job because you have to ask people to go to the bathroom. You should keep your job because you forced to work mandatory overtime and if you don't work, they'll fire you. You should keep your job because if you lose your job, your wife will divorce you. You should keep your job because it's comfortable for you. You should keep your job because it's secure. You should keep your job because it's easy to go in and get told what to do and leave and go home and pay bills. You should get your job because when you get fired, you have to go to another job and you'll find another job like this. <laughs> That's what you think. Now, but that's why you should keep your job. You should keep your job because you have a job. You should keep your job because when someone asks you what you do, oh, I do this, or oh, I'm a construction worker, oh, I'm a CNA, or whatever that you do. So you can fit in with the crowd. That's why you should keep your job. You should keep your job because it is easy. Very easy, very simple. That's why you should keep your job. Hmm. But no, don't become an entrepreneur. It's a lot of work. A lot of lonely nights. It's a lot of days when you go without pay. You might go a month without no pay. But the risk and the reward ratio is amazing. You will get shamed into being your own boss in this world. You will be shamed because you want to make more than six figures or you want to earn $50,000 doing what you love on your own time by being your own boss instead of going to a job and slave for six figures a year. Mandatory overtime, forced. Instead of doing that, you will get slaved. You would rather be a slave than be your own boss. I was working a job, not a slave. Because you have to answer to them. You can't curse. You got to wear a certain dress or, or a certain, uh, uh, certain dress code. You got to talk a certain way. You can't tell them to shut the fuck up when they're pissing you off. Because why? You will get fired. You have bills. It's easier to do shit like that. But when you're your own boss, you get paid off what value you bring to the world. What value do you bring when you work inside a factory and you're doing the same shit over and over and the machines do all the work? You're not bringing no value to the damn world. But when you're an entrepreneur, your value is based off of what you can provide to the marketplace. That is how you get paid. Because people like you. People really genuinely fucking like you. Them people at them jobs don't fucking like you. 
Them people at them jobs do not fucking like you. Them people at them jobs do not give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck. You gotta go through interviews and all this dumbass shit. Payroll and all this shit. Gotta deal with certain motherfuckers disrespecting you every day. Man, fuck a job. Man, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. But you gotta deal with motherfuckers every day. Every day you gotta deal with motherfuckers. So, my question is to you. Would you rather slave for somebody else? Work 40 years slave. I call it work 40 years slave. That's what I call it. Or would you grind for you and your family? Because you can't pass no 401k down to your kids. Or no trust. You have no trust funds in a job. So, how are you living and leaving a legacy? How are you leaving a legacy for your kids? When you working a job. Provide. This is what I'm saying. Learn the skill. That you have. Inspire people by. Doing that skill. Broadcast the skill. To the marketplace. YouTube. Instagram. Facebook. Do it for free. For a couple months. Until. You build a bigger audience because your skill is more valuable than a job. And then monetize your skill. Because all you need is loyal supporters. A job is not a loyal supporter because a job can replace you like this. Your skill cannot be replaced like this because it's your skill. It's what you bring to the marketplace. But a job can find another motherfucker that's going to bust his ass, break his fucking back, day in and day out. For fucking chump change, even for, for good money, right? Why would you put yourself... In that predicament, why would you put yourself in that position? Because you're comfortable, it's easy. You don't, it's what your mom and your dad told you. I don't give a fuck what my mom and my dad told me. They can watch the fucking video right now. You know what mama told me? Go to job courts. Fuck job courts. I do what I wanna do. I would rather make 40K a year Doing whatever the fuck I want to do than make 100k a year busting my ass at a punk ass job. Can you do that? Because my 40k would turn to 80 and my 80 would turn to 160 and my 160 would turn to 350 and so on and so forth. But when you are at a job, your cap does not increase. What you get? A five? What you get? A, 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 a 10% raise every three years? What, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? You get a 10% raise every six years? That shit is fucking slavery. Even if you do work a job, why would you work two jobs? Why work two jobs when you can start your first business? Why would you do that? Because you're comfortable. Because you care what people think. You care what your mom thinks. You care what your girlfriend thinks. Mostly all are working two jobs or a job here because of your fucking girlfriend. The fuck out of here. That's pussy shit, man. That's crazy. Why would you do that? Because it boils down to you care what the next person thinks. I don't give a fuck what the next person thinks. Steph, man, I'm out. Do you need a degree to be an entrepreneur? No. Is it easy to be an entrepreneur? No. Is it worth it? Yes. What are the perks of being an entrepreneur? (laughs) 
get to make, my bad, you get to earn quadruple the money, depending on your skill level, your skill set, what you provide to the marketplace, you're your own boss. You do shit on your terms. And your fucking wife won't cheat on you because you at work all fucking day. And you get to see your fucking kids. That's the fucking perks.